Hey everybody, it's Lisa with Lisa Bug Fitness and Yoga. Today is one week since I had my knee replacement surgery and thank you for those of you that have been reaching out to me and wondering how I'm doing and sending well wishes and healing energy and wondering how I'm doing. It's, it, this has been the most difficult week. It really has been. I have been in so much pain. I'm gonna try not to cry but it's been really hard. Um, so uh, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. I mean, surgery went well. I do have a straight knee. I think in this viewpoint, you can't quite see it, but um, they took the problem out, the valgus knee, they've got the knee straight. So that's great news. And um, day uh, one uh, or first day, I got released from the hospital. I wasn't even in the hospital 24 hours. I got sent home. Um, my surgery was at 1230 on Monday and I was sent home by 11 o'clock on Tuesday. So Tuesday was a pretty good day because the nerve block was still um, in effect. So I didn't have a ton of pain. But day two, uh, when that nerve block wore off, getting the pain under control was, was really difficult and it was a really painful day. I was hoping that that was the worst day, but it was not. Day three was actually pretty good. I got the pain meds on board. Um, I was starting to do my exercises better, working through a little bit of range of motion. You might have seen the little video I posted when I was doing some um, leg presses on the Pilates reformer, which I have right here that I've been using to help me rehab. Um, so day three was really good. And um, Dave and I even went out for lunch. Well, that was probably not the best idea. I think I was on my feet a little bit too much. Is day four was really a struggle um, and a lot of pain on day four. The swelling started. Um, let's see what, this is day seven. So day four, I went to the physical therapy office. That was my first outpatient physical therapy, which was on a Friday. And um, she was really pleased. She said, I was doing good. I've got full extension of the knee. And so um, I can extend it pretty straight, which is good. I'm kind of ahead of the game on extension. And I think the reason is because they tell you not to sleep with your knee bent. So I've been really trying to sleep with my leg elevated and straight with the ice pack around it when I'm using my ice machine. So that's all pretty good. I could fire my quad during physical therapy, so that was good. Um, my flexion is not good. I measured a 75 degrees flexion in my first physical therapy appointment, and I had measured 105 in the hospital. So um, all of that swelling and everything was really making it a challenge to bend my knee. So um, I was seeing a little bit of bruising on this inner thigh on Friday, and then I went to bed Friday night. Saturday night, I woke up or Saturday morning I woke up and my thigh was so swollen. And this is from the tourniquet. This bruising was a lot worse and the bruising on the back of the thigh is really crazy bad. So I can't even sit down um, on anything. The pain is so severe on this whole leg. My quad, my inner thigh, my hamstring. And uh, so all I really have done, um, besides a few of my exercises the last couple days, is to try to elevate. I've been doing legs up the wall, lots of ankle pumps, elevating my leg and icing a lot just to get the swelling down. And um, in the PT's office, she also gave me a um, compression wrap. And the ones they gave you in PT are not very good. They're just kind of like a legging. So I have one ordered on Amazon that's a medical grade compression wrap so that I can really get a good amount of compression and try to get that inflammation and swelling out of there. But in the meantime, I've really lost flexion. So uh, that's about all of the, the bend that I can get in my knee right now. So I have a feeling when I go into my PT appointment today, I'm not gonna be at 75 degrees, and she was hoping that today I would be at 90. I'm just kind of guessing I'm at about 40. When I really try, it is so painful. It feels like my quad is just being ripped apart. 
So managing the pain has been an issue. Working on flexion has been an issue. Getting the swelling down has been an issue. Getting the inflammation down. Um, it's been a tough first week. So I hope I have a better report for you next week. Um, I uh, started walking with the walker the first day. It was just too cumbersome getting around the house. So I switched to crutches on day two post-op. By day three, I was on a cane. And I can take a few steps without anything, but mostly I'm still on either one crutch or the cane to help me to get around. But um, I know I'm still early in the recovery process, so I'm trying to be patient with myself and, um, and just not to quit. There's been times I've just wanted to say, I can't do this anymore. Um, I just am trying to stay with it. Thanks for your positive words, everybody. And um, I don't know how long it's going to be until I get back to teaching my Lisa Bug classes, but um, trying to stay positive with all of that. So just wanted to give you an update, everybody. Today is September 25th, Monday, 2023, and surgery was one week ago today. So post-op day seven. I'll get this sent out to my YouTube channel and I'll fire out an email to everybody so you can jump on and um, get caught up on how I'm doing. Thank you so much, everybody, for the love and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.